Welcome to the Great HR How To Video Series. In this video, we will talk about how to setting up resignation workflow setup from your Great HR account. A workflow manages repetitive processes and functions in a specific order. In a company, employees raise multiple workflow requests for leave, overtime, resignation, and other tasks. When an employee submits these requests using the ESS portal, the system automatically sends the application to the reviewers. The reviewer must then take action on these requests to be in effect. In this video, we will discuss setting up the resignation workflow on your Great HR application. With the help of Great HR's resignation workflow feature, the admin can define the reviewers to approve the employee's resignation applications. Add up to three reviewers for resignation applications. Set up a workflow policy to customize the employee's resignation options. Now let's see how to configure resignation workflows. Navigate to workflow, setup and the workflow levels to get started. Click on add workflow level. In the general settings section, select resignation from the workflow type drop down. Enter the policy name and description. Also choose the employee filter from the drop down. Click save policy to save the general settings and click on next. In the workflow level section, you can select multiple reviewer levels as per your requirements. Select a reviewer from the reviewer level 1 drop down and enable the reviewer's actions as per your requirement. By enabling accept and forward, the application is forwarded to the next level reviewer. The employee's last working day is confirmed by enabling accept. The revoke option allows the reviewer to cancel the resignation of the employee. Auto forward due days will enable you to set the days a reviewer must take action on the resignation application. Select a reviewer from the reviewer level 2 drop down and check the options as per your requirement. Please note, the options will be enabled by default for the final level reviewer. Click on save policy and click next. To view the workflow policy page. On this page, you can customize the options for employee resignation applications. Such as allow employees to withdraw the resignation, select date criteria, allow employees to update the last working day, and finally, select notice period starts from and last working day options from the drop down. Select last working day if the day falls on a week off or holiday. These options are available only for clients who subscribe to the Great HR's Leave and Attendance module. Click Review and Submit to complete the process. Click on Summary to view the policy details. The new policy appears on the Workflow Levels page. Click the Activate button and select the effective date to activate the policy from the calendar and confirm. To deactivate the policy you can click on delete or disable button. I hope you can now effectively customize your employee's resignation workflow policy with the assorted options. With that, we come to an end. Thank you for watching the great HR how-to video series.